Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and on this channel I am documenting my journey playing Gran Turismo and today we are up for menu book number 23 in which we are heading off to acquire three Alpha Romeos. Now if you are new to the channel please consider hitting the subscribe button. I'm trying to build this channel and if you are already a subscriber thank you ever so much for supporting me but if you aren't please please hit that subscribe button so today we're off to europe we've got three races one at brands hatch in the uk alsace in france and then we head off to italy for a final race at sardegna so this is looking like a really nice group of tracks in which we're going to be hopefully winning three rather nice alfa romeo so this is a european cup and cup 600 we're looking for a car of around about 600 pp um, I'm going to just set this into performance points order, uh, but I think I'm probably going to go with, do I go with the BMW that we did recently or the Scirocco? Um, I think I'm going to go with the Scirocco. It's been a good car to us and the PP is about right. Yeah, let's, let's just go with that one. Uh, we're looking for uh, three laps to be completed. Obviously, I'm looking to try and be in first place, although we need to be third or higher. Uh, the weather's looking a little bit better than the last weekend of racing. And so we will just try and keep this clean. So we do the Audi TT on the inside, coming up on the Renault Sport, which we should be able to do into the first corner, getting it slowed down. Third gear for a turn in behind the Scirocco, really didn't want to rear end him. Just bring it over to the right hand side so we get a better line for this left hander we can get up over onto the right hand side really up onto the curb there so we go around the Renault Megane and we're already up into eighth place so it looks like this car once again has got the measure of the cars around us being careful where the Porsche is going we get a little opening on the outside and we're going to go on the inside of this red one that's two Porsches in two corners up in sixth place which is rather nice now we get into this little complex where i'm really good at putting it into the gravel so i'm just going to lose a bit of speed through there tuck in behind this bmw z8 not try and do anything too larry we've got an opportunity on the inside which we take don't go wide don't go wide just manage to get that slow down and then we're on to the lamborghini which going on the uh, out, outside <laughs> Oh, I had a change of heart halfway through that corner. It's difficult to narrate and drive at the same time. So we can take a lot of curves through there to get on the back of this other BMW. Are we going to be able to get into first place by the end of the first lap? I don't think we will. Be careful on this right-hander. It can suck you in and put you out on that gravel. So very, very cautious. I don't need to get first. Uh, by the end of the first lap we've got three full laps to do this and those of you that follow me know that Brands Hatch is one of those tracks that really does chew me up and spit me up sometimes with these, these gravel traps um, I have to say I'm not a great fan I follow Formula 1 and I'm not a great fan of the tracks with the really big runoffs like you know the one in France and a few of the others I prefer those that are traditional with the gravel traps but when you're racing I hate the gravel traps I prefer to have big runoffs, but uh, there we go. So we we'll need to be a bit careful. Let's try and stay out of the gravel traps this time. So just thinking about how we get past this uh, Mercedes, just all oh, big slow down mid corner there, nearly ran into the back of the Mercedes, which has made me drop back just a little bit. So if this Mercedes is going to be like a lot of the AI cars do, breaking mid corner, we can either use that to our advantage um, or just be wary of it. So no braking mid-corner through that one. I thought he was going to get a little bit uh, Larry on the way out, but he didn't. Is he going to brake on this one? No, he's not. So we're just following through here. We've got an opportunity on the inside. Just as we go through this corner, try not to rub doors, but we need to get over so that we can get a turn in on that corner, which we managed to get that done. Down into third, across the inside of that corner let it drift out carry the speed down that puts us two seconds ahead now just want to try and just build this margin just a little bit but without being too crazy 
So we are up to three seconds as we cross the line. Three and a half seconds. Just watch the track as we come around here. Just going to keep it in the middle. I'm just slowing it down more than I need to, but I, I want to keep it on the black stuff. As we come under the bridge, we'll bury the brake pedal down into third gear, get it turned into the apex, and it drift out to the left, and then we'll drift over to the right, get a nice line for this right, left, sorry, left hander, and it drift out and over the curbs, not using too much, just keeping it easy. We are coming up for six seconds ahead. Ooh. So I need to watch one going. Six six seconds ahead uh, as we come through that complex and onto the straight for the very last time. So seven seconds ahead. We've got a nice comfortable margin. Just bringing it up through the gears underneath the bridge, looking for our breaking point and turn in. Looking to uh, just get across the grass here. And we'll try and do the same again. Just get it slowed down, fourth gear, get it up and over the curb nice didn't go too wide could have gone wider there could have carried a bit of extra speed but i'm being very cautious of these exits same again here get it turned in over the curb stay right slow down for this one loads of curve you can take on this one could have taken a lot more than that but again being being cautious uh, we're eight seconds ahead so we've got plenty of margin but not enough if we have a spin so we just need to keep this Keep this on the black stuff so nice and easy through here and we can do a fast sprint straight to the line don't need to worry about the first turn and that is a nice easy win for our first race no drama at all in that one just uh, nicely done managed to get through the traffic quite well clean race bonus as expected so that's going to bring the credits up quite nicely and then we will collect our car, it'll allow for a Amito, assuming that's how you pronounce that. Not sure that's the car that we're going to use too often, uh, but it's still another one checked off that we don't need to buy. So full 10 seconds ahead of the second place car there, which is a, a nice win. Collected our car, so we're going to head off to France and Alsace and see if we can do exactly the same. We're going to stick with the same car. Just going to enter the race up against a 911 Carrera in this one and again. Well, we did okay with those ones, so we'll just stick with the same car. Again, three laps of the village track. Uh, we need to get third place or higher again. Third place isn't good enough. We want to shoot for first. So again, I'm going to be just taking it easy. We're starting in 12th. We've got all of the cars to get through. So I'm just taking it very cautiously on the first corner. Let the Audi TT just run a little bit wide and take a better line, more traction up the hill. Do the Megane on the right-hand side. We've then got this 911 Turbo, which we could go down. And I'm going to go down the outside of that one. No point going down the inside. That's always going to close off. Then we've got the second of the careers. We can do that one on the inside, getting it slowed down. Come on, getting it turned in, being careful not to run into the Audi TT. Don't close on me. Oh, that was a bit iffy. I thought I was going to run out of track there, but uh, we'll go around the outside of the Renault. Up to sixth, siding our way through this tra uh, traffic really well. We've got two together there, the Scirocco and the look, DS Automobiles. That's done, getting it slowed down. Third gear for this corner. Oh, missed the apex. And a little bit too much speed through there. Bring it up to fourth. Watching the apex this time, that's better. Fifth gear. Coming to this corner, just take it down into fourth. Being really careful. Computer is showing me third. I prefer fourth through there. As long as you get the line right, it's okay. And then through here, we just need to be brave. But I've got to be careful of this uh, is it Mercedes. Uh, just be a little bit careful whether we go high or low, going high. We then got the Lamborghini, and we're catching these at a, a little bit of a grotty part of the track, but that, that's opened up okay. We can go down the inside of that one. Got that uh, got that done before this little complex. Mega on the brakes, sorry. <laughs> Didn't think I was gonna get that turned in. Uh, mega on the brakes there before that little right-hander. Thought I was either gonna overshoot or pummel into this uh, this BMW, which I really didn't want to do. So that's 
Now just compromise me for this little section, but we are only on the first lap. So, so underneath the tire bridge, we'll go down the hill here. At the second one, we really need to be thinking about this turning. It's really tight. It's third gear, getting it turned in, let it run to this left hand, and leaving it in third gear, let it drift out to the right, and we're again going up through the gears as we go across the line for the end of the first lap. And just one second this time ahead of the second place. So we'll go third gear, get it turned in, up the hill. Usually we can make a little bit of space between us and the car behind going up the hill. Yes, we're up to two seconds taking quite a bit of time but we do need to be careful on this corner the amount of time I try and go through here flat and get myself into problems so just feathering this time in fifth gear third gear for this one so we go down to fourth just third just to get it turned in looking for the apex just didn't quite catch the apex which has put us a tad wide just managed to get that slowed down enough through there we're only 2.8 seconds ahead so we do need to be a bit careful this section is quite nice we come down to this tight right hand and we do need to lose the power so on the brakes just before the curb nice through there keeping it clean this one is quite quick so just building up through the gears although we're going to need to slow down to fourth on this one again the car's screaming third but I think fourth is fine just letting it run to the outside and this is one where we need to be brave. I'd never quite get this corner right, so leave it in fourth this time. Keep the acceleration up, looking for the uh, apex of the corner. Again, a little bit of a bounce and go a bit wide there. It's a corner I've really got to work on on this track. As we go through the left-hander here, we're thinking about getting it slowed down. I'm off the power already on the brakes. Just getting it slowed down for that corner. We're a little bit wide on the apex, but um, that's okay. It's, corner that I always struggle with and up the hill here just being careful that we don't uh, don't spin it just being careful on the gears and the power and then we've got these two little tire well not tires like inflatable bridges on this second one we just get it buried oh a little bit a little bit a uh, little bit too late with too much speed through there got away with it if we come down over the start finish straight for our third gear, uh, sorry, third lap. I always mess up my uh, words when I'm when I'm driving and narrating at the same time. So uh, we're doing okay here at the moment. So ten seconds ahead at the moment. Up the hill. Just thinking about the braking point and the turning point here. So braking well before the corner. Didn't even need full brake there. I was a little bit over cautious. Uh, on the full power, so let's try and be a little bit braver through here. So, fourth gear, just keep the power on a little bit, looking for the apex. Oh, just feathering a little bit. <laughs> oh, there we go, round we go. Oh man, oh, I had to do it, didn't I? Just trying to be a little bit too clever, carry a bit too much speed through that corner, and then just oh man, yeah, Mitchell, what are you doing? Running out of talent yet again. Uh, we had the time to try it. Uh, why do you not try these things on a time trial rather than in a race? Uh, so we're down to f just under five seconds now uh, to the second place. So it's it's okay. Pressure's on a little bit. So let's just try and keep this a little bit easy again. Just um, taking that one too cautiously down the middle of the track. It's all gone to pot now. What is it of when I mistake? When I make a mistake. All of the theory of a track all goes out of the window. Uh, uh, up to let's put look seven seconds as we go through the apex of that corner. I'm just going to settle myself down a little bit after all the excitement of spinning. Um, completely lost where I am on the track. Okay, yeah, going up for this right hand up. Just get it turned in. It's better. Nerves are settling a little bit now. Just got a little bit bogged down on the exit there. So up to the right hand side, sweeping across, didn't get the apex at all. Oh, come on. Far too many mistakes creeping in here. I'm gonna get away with it on these challenges, but boy, when I start racing real people on the online in the sport mode, I cannot be making these mistakes. Again, too deep there. 
apex that one wasn't too bad just just touching the wall on the way through there but that my friend was a race to forget <laughs> um, i am trying to build this channel so uh, we're getting quite a lot of views on the channel at the moment but not too many subscribers it would be fantastic if you haven't already subscribed if you could whack that subscribe button to support me and let me know that you're enjoying these videos if you are enjoying it please hit the uh, the thumbs up button as well and if you're along for another of my videos and you've been here before and you subscribe thank you ever so much for continuing to support the channel it is greatly appreciated okay so we will grab our what's this one second of the alphas the alfa romeo competition hc that's a lovely looking car hey we'll use that for uh, a couple of things uh, yeah i like that one it's lovely in the red but let's get back to the job in hand we've got a third race this weekend to run Oh, uh, without doing these in days, I'm often talking about weekends because you go racing at the weekend. I am doing the channel on days and talking about weekends, so sorry if I am confusing things. But uh, yeah, when I'm when I'm doing this sort of thing, I tend to uh, to consider these weekends away doing these uh, doing these races. So we are off to. Um, don't even, I can't even think where we're going to now. <laughs> oh, Sardegna. We're off to Sardegna. Uh, 12th place we're starting in, so right at the back of the field. Is that the Porsche? At the, oh, sorry, the uh, Lamborghini that they're coming up to? Yes, it is, first of all. So the Lamborghini's doing a move on the Porsche, so we'll just hang back a little bit through this corner just to leave these two to work themselves out. Uh, opportunity opens up on the left hand side. We go between the two on the right hand side of the 911 Turbo. So up into ninth already, just feeling my way through this one. This is a track that we know, so we can push on a little bit and we've got a fairly good idea of where we can and where we can't do moves. That is not a place to do a move, so we'll wait for these three just to sort themselves out. I'm running out of time, I wanted to put it on the grass to get through the past those. It's a little bit, uh, little bit, uh, a little bit raggedy through <laughs> Oh, I just wanted to go to get that corner before I uh, get myself into trouble. We are closing on the Renault Sport really quickly. Let's be very, very careful up here. I am very good at carrying loads of speed through here and then forgetting to brake for the corner at the bottom. So as we go underneath this inflatable, I'm going to come to the left, bury the brake pedal straight away to get this slowed down and still gone too deep. Still too deep. Oh, managed to get it slowed down. As I said, that corner comes up and catches me every time, every time. So we go around the uh, inside of the Scirocco, just get it over this curb so that we give the Scirocco some room. Just, uh, we've cleared him, so we'll just take that one normally. This is another really tight corner, so I'm looking for the curbs, buried a brake pedal, just let it uh, drift and we'll get turned in, line ourselves up for the BMW. This is really quick through here. We can very often go flat over this right hander, but we've got to negotiate the BMW first of all. Just gave us enough room, which was nice. We were able to get our line for that corner, carrying loads of speed down this long straight over the start finish line for lap number two. We are already two and a half seconds, nearly three seconds ahead of the car behind. Just watching for a braking point. I'm a bit central on the track. It needed to be further over to the right. Um, but I was thinking about the Mercedes and giving myself some options on diving left and right. Didn't need them. Just being careful through here. Where are you going? Are you going? You're going to stay right. Not going to be able to do. Yes. Uh, do the inside. Oh, two minds. Two minds on that one. Which way to go? The inside was the way to go in the end. Just going to slow down through here, and then we are coming down to this tight left hand up to watch the braking point just before the 50 down into fourth gear should be able to carry the speed through here then we go across to the left a little bit just take the inside flat through here underneath the first of the inflatables so we've got this left hander which is flat underneath this other inflatable and then pretty much off the power braking 
getting it turned into steel looks a bit too deep still a bit too deep I can't work on that corner really got to work on that corner okay so through here over the top bury the brake pedal as you go over the top so you can get the turn in oh steel drift is too wide and hit the barrier that's thrown away the clean race bonus that was stupid that was unneeded Ugh. yeah lack of concentration um, sometimes I need to race and not talk um, but to try and give you an idea of what's going through my head as we're coming around here so flat through here just try and make some extra speed make some distance down this straight so we are a little bit quicker than the car behind so into the last lap let's see if we can keep this one clean so we'll drift across to the right hand side here just taking a little bit more of the curve we've got a blue strip we slowed down third gear turned in over the apex that's better apex again as we go up through the gears fourth gear sticking to fourth and fifth through here but we're going to go for four through this one just going to feel it it's just uh, looking for the apex fourth was probably a little bit too much but so uh, i've done it the third to get it turned into this one that was better that was nicer that's given us a nice cushion to the car behind eight seconds to the car behind just looking for the braking zone for this one turning it in i'm probably a little bit too slow <laughs> so um probably a little bit slow on that one flat through here getting up through the gears first inflatable get it across to the right hand side so we can get a good line over the apex of this one second inflatable hit the brakes at the beginning of the curbs just getting it turned in feather in the throttle that's better yeah that was a bit better more happier with that one and uh, we're still only eight point uh, eight and a half seconds ahead so uh, although we've gone a little bit more cautious we seem to have uh, slowed up a little bit i uh, still got plenty of space to the car behind which is quite nice we'll break at the beginning of the curves again just running the curves getting it turned in all oh, missed the apex a little bit on that one went a bit too wide we're up to nine just over nine seconds now which is nice we know that we can go flat across here so off to the left hand side just take loads of the curb through there let it drift out to the left and can we get 10 second advantage as we cross the line no we're actually, i think we're being caught there i thought we got a good exit on that last corner but uh, no we it was not quite as good as i thought so oh we did 10.7 so whether the car behind had a penalty or something we did get 10.7 Clean race bonus, that's good. That's nice. It's good to get the extra credits where we can. So we've got a driving marathon completed. So we've got a four-star ticket. The tickets seem to be delivering better prizes since the uh, the, the last, uh, the 1.29 upgrade, which is nice. But all important, we've got our three Alfa Romeos, one in red. Really nice. And uh, that will be that menu book completed not going to worry about the replay it's not overly exciting that particular race i find that these menu books sometimes are a little bit more of a grind than anything else but uh, it's part of the game it gets you a nice lot of cars that you then don't need to buy so at the moment i'm just saving up my credits just over four million credits at the moment and once we've completed the menu books as i did with the uh, driving licenses I will be reviewing all of the cars that I have acquired. Uh, I will call out those that I've bought, uh, but I'm not buying very many cars at the moment. Uh, I'll be doing a review of all the cars that, that we've done, uh, which some of you have requested. So that is menu book 23 done, the three Alfa Romeos in the garage. Luca is gonna take us through a little bit of information about these cars with quite a heritage. Been around in motorsport for quite some time, took part in the first Grand Prix. And uh, Alfa Romeo back in Formula One at the moment, but I think I'm right in saying that Ferrari are the only manufacturer to have run in every single year of the Formula One Grand Prix. So 
next we will be off to do menu book number 24 which looks like we need to do a circuit experience to learn about a track i wonder which track it's going to choose please consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification of when i do this next run which is going to be at an unknown track at the moment to complete menu book number 24 and if you are a current subscriber thank you ever so much for following me along it is very much appreciated i value all of the people that are supporting me in this new channel it's absolutely brilliant so for now take care and i'll see you again very soon bye bye